Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and in this episode I want to get ready for dragons, get a bee pet specifically, maybe some other pets, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get those yet. And I want to make some progress on my Mastiff armor. I'm almost done with the Mastiff armor, I just need to do a couple more wolf slayers, but I don't know if I'm going to get to those in this episode. Now, in the intro I was talking about the bee pet. And basically, if I go to this NPC, it's located right by the graveyard, I can buy a bee pet. I want to get the level 100 bee, and as you can see, it's a little bit expensive. The money is fine, that's pretty cheap. I have the gold, that's not pr a problem at all. With the enchanted blocks of coal, I need 8 of those. I could buy some, I do have a good amount of money in the bank, but I just don't know if it's worth it now that I look at it. The plus intelligence, strength, and speed is pretty nice, but it just kind of seems like the other buffs aren't worth it. The weaponized honey buff is pretty good, but the other one, just an extra chance to get more flowers, that's not good. So I really don't know if I actually want to buy this. I want to look into other pets before I just immediately go and buy this one. Okay, I've decided that I'm going to get the legendary bee pet. I have everything except the eight enchanted blocks of coal, and even that I have a couple enchanted blocks of coal. I don't know how many, but I have a couple. So it's gonna be pretty cheap, and I don't see any reason not to get it. And I have looked at all the other pets, at least most of them, and it just seems like it's the best decision to get the legendary bee pet, and then just kind of wait until I get the phoenix pet. Now the Phoenix pet has a 1 in 10 million chance to drop from any mob, so it's insanely rare, but I could get really lucky and just, you know, get it from killing an Enderman, because I am going to be farming Zealots, so it is possible. So I think the first thing I'm going to do to, you know, be ready to do dragons, is going to be to get the Spider Slayer level 4, and that's so I can get the Tarantula Boots. Once I actually get the Tarantula Boots, it shouldn't be much of a problem to craft them, it seems pretty easy. But basically, those boots will allow me to double jump so I can actually go up and melee the dragon. Now, I do have an aspect of the dragons. It is pretty, it's a pretty good sword, but it could be better. I think the pigment sword's better than that now. And also, obviously, the Midas sword, 50 mil Midas. I actually could get, I'm kind of close to it. I could get the 50 mil Midas. But I don't think that's necessary right now. The aspect of the dragon should do just fine for meleeing the dragon and getting a ton of damage. But I'm also gonna need crystal armor. I think I have crystal armor already, but I might just want to check. It would be in here. Crystal. Okay. It's not wise yet, so I'm gonna have to reforge this so it's all wise crystal armor which is gonna be kind of expensive but I think I'm gonna do that right now okay I got my crystal helmet to wise took about a million coins now I have to do the rest all right I got the chest plate here goes the leggings and finally the boots there we go I got a full wise crystal set I'm not going to do any enchanting on this set because there's just no need. All I need is the mana from this and enchanting won't really give me any extra mana. So there's just no reason for me to do that. Alright, so I want to see how much coal my coal minions have actually been able to collect. They've been up for a day or two, I'm not sure how long. So yeah. I want to get the bee pet and I need those 8 blocks of coal. Okay. It's looking like maybe two. Maybe two blocks of coal? Just one. Okay. That's not good. Oh, I'm stuck in a fence. Let's see. I got a little more in here. That's probably enough to make another one. Alright. I need a lot more coal. 
I don't know why these can't stack, but whatever. Maybe I could buy some more coal from the Bezar. I think that's what it's called. Yes. Let's see. I don't know how expensive it's going to be, but if I could buy enchanted blocks of coal, that would be amazing. How do I get a sparkling rune? I don't even know. Okay. I've never actually used this before, so mining, coal. Oh, it's cheap. It's only 200,000 each. So I needed eight blocks of enchanted coal. I'll need to buy a six more. So it's going to be just over a million. All right, let's see. I'm going to buy these blocks of coal now. And yeah, we could buy the bee pet. Let's withdraw. Okay. Let's buy instantly. Definitely don't want to buy a stack. All right. There we go. I got the six blocks of coal that I need. And yeah, I can finally get this bee pet. Okay, so I'll get the remaining blocks of coal. I also needed eight enchanted gold blocks. As you can see, I have plenty of enchanted gold. And yeah, I also needed 650,000 coins, I believe. So that's a little more out of the bank, but it could be worse. I spent more on reforging that crystal armor than it's gonna take to buy this pet. Okay, is it there? No, next house over. Alright. Legendary level 100 bee pet. It's also a farming pet, so I can level it up super easily with my full width pumpkin, melon, and sugarcane farm. Yeah, so let's buy that. Alright, so I can right click to add it to my pets menu. Is it like. Doesn't it like fly around you or something? I don't know. I want to see... Okay, I do have a pets menu now. Okay, summoned it. There it is. Alright, I did... I wasn't paying any attention to my stats. I don't know if it went up. I don't know. But it shouldn't have gone up that much anyway. Oh, it's level 1. I thought it would be level 100. Whatever, it'll be super easy to level up anyway. Okay, so I harvested the pumpkin farm once, as you can see, and yeah. Those are the stats of my bee pet now. It's obviously not the level 100 that I thought it was, but it's certainly a lot better. And the uh, weaponized honey buff is actually really good, because you basically receive health from taking damage, which is just amazing. And if I get this to level 100, then... Well, I'll get 25% of the damage I received as absorption. So I basically get a quarter of the damage that was dealt to me as health, which is just crazy. Alright, let's do some spider... Uh, what do you call them? Slayers. That's where they are. Spider Slayers. Okay, so I don't know if I can handle a Broodfather 3, but I think I'm going to try... Yeah, might as well try, because if I actually can, you know, defeat this boss, then it's going to be way easier to do the threes and the twos, so. I think it's worth a shot. Okay, 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 the boss is spawning. I have the Radiant Power Orb, and also a bunch of mana with the Zombie Sword, so I should be fine. Plus, I'm not really taking that much damage. I don't know if it gets, like, enraged like the Revenant boss does, but it's just not doing much damage. I did not want to use the aspect of the dragon's ability. I just accidentally clicked it. Also, I'm glad they fixed Slayers so that other people can't mess up your boss fights, because this guy would be messing me up big time. If it wasn't for the update. Okay. I am so happy that we actually managed to do that. 
and I got a good amount of tarantula web. I think that was like 30 or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, I think this is going to be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next Minecraft video. Bye, everyone. And one more thing. I know I did say I was going to do a giveaway for 50 subscribers, and I was still planning on doing that, but I'm just not high enough level in the game to give away any decent stuff. So I want to get higher up. I want to level up in the game, first of all, get better armor, better swords, and everything like that. So that I can actually give away better stuff. I hope you understand, so I'm going to do the giveaway in the future sometime. Bye everyone.